<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, welcome, welcome to The Worst Show Ever, episode 30. My name is Walter Bucky. With me, I have the lovely and talented Sean Baker. Yes, sir. And as you folks know, <laughs> none of this would be possible <coughs> if it wasn't for the lovely and talented Bart Sampson. So ladies and Bart gentlemen, Sampson. round of applause for Bart Sampson. Always coming through. Always. Uh, always coming through. What's going and, on with your Facebook, bro? You back yet or what? Well, uh, it looks like Friday, June 9th is a very special date um, because that is when I get to post again. So ah. I get to like... Thank you. Thank you. I get to like, I get to comment. I get to do the, you know, mad face. I get to do the happy face. Um, and so, okay. you know, I know there's a lot of people saying, you know, Colt, why haven't you been commenting uh, on my page? Why haven't you been saying happy birthday? Well, you know, take that up with the Zucks because uh, apparently he's got beef with me. And um, Zucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's fucking wild. Like I'm looking outside right now and it's it's beautiful and it's sunny and it's seven o'clock and it's still sunny and it's like, dude, we're in June. I know, dude. It's crazy. How fucking nuts is that? Dude, if this was a regular Sunday and, and everything was like normal, this I don't know, things would be so so fucking different. It's just bizarre, dude. So the twenty first is uh is Father's Day. So shout out to all the fathers out there. Um but more important, there's a lot of guys out there that are fathers and don't even realize it, right? So let's give a shout out to them too. So. A shout out to a single dad. Some girls got who, pregnant. Some guys that they've met at a bar and they were like, "I'm not saying anything. I'm not telling this guy shit. I'm, I don't want anything from him. He was a real fucking loser. I'm just moving on." Shout out, shout to, out, to, out to those dads, dads <laughs> that don't even know they're a single dad. Um, but that is the longest day of the year. Uh, Sunwise, um, you get the longest daylight, and I think the sun sets around like close to eight thirty that day. So that's pretty fucking nuts that that's coming up. Yeah, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the rest. <laughs> well, no, my point is, is that that's like a day that I always look forward to every year because I'm like, holy shit, like we're getting closer and closer, where the days are getting longer and longer. But it's just like in my head, it pretty much just goes March, June. Like there's just this huge gap of oh, yeah. fucking time. It's it's bizarre, dude. I got you. I feel you. I I, I uh, I've been spending so much time on my phone, my bro. Like, I get my weekly report. You know, dude, your, your your mic is like jacked the fuck up. I get like my weekly re my week. Is that better? Yeah, it's better. I get like my weekly report. <laughs> from like my screen usage, you know, at the end of the week from your phone. Yeah. And it's like, you've used your phone seven hours and 56 minutes on average per day. And I'm like, really? That's a lot of the fucking day, man. Like, that is, dude. Most of it. <laughs> I know, I mean, like, it's a lot. <laughs> That's really, like, I mean, but I'm like, I'm, I'm doing like recording apps and, and notes apps and then Instagram and Facebook and shit, but, and, and like news, you know, like not news apps, but like, you know, like I have apps that pull up stuff. Your fans are, only account. Our interests to me. Yeah. My fans only Patreon accounts, you know, everywhere I make my income. Thank you. But uh, speak, speaking of spending so much time on social media, I, I feel like I got, got the, the other day, but I, I feel like. I don't know, man. I was I was scrolling through Facebook, right, and then yeah. an ad an ad pulls up, and here's the thing. I think this is how it all got started. Actually, did you hear? I know that we were talking about video games that that one episode. Did you hear that the Sega Game Gear? Do you remember the Game Gear? Of course, yeah. So did you hear that they're like they're like bringing like a retro Game Gear back? Is it Sega or is it some bullshit company? It's, it, it's Sega. Okay, I gotta look this up. So Sega well, game, or are yeah, you gonna bring it up? No, you 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 could bring you could bring that up, but okay. I'm gonna tell you real quick on how much of a fucking disappointment it is because did they they teased this like it was gonna be something like holy shit we're gonna get to play all these cool Game Gear games again, um, almost like how they brought that retro Nintendo back preloaded with like sixty games or something whatever you can right, play. right. 
but instead this thing comes out and it's this it's like bro it fits in the palm of your hand it's, it's literally this big it's like the, it's like the size of a tamagotchi bro it has four pre-installed games on it if you're gonna play it you look like an asshole this look is it that's it that's it that's it they make four of them each one comes uh. with four preloaded games and they're all different so if you like the games on the blue one, you got to get the blue one, even if you don't like blue. If you're like, fuck Bro, blue, you why? Get it anyway. Why are they doing that? I don't know. Guess how much each one of those are. Am I gonna be mad? Just how much you think? How much would? How much would? How much is that thing? That one of them. Okay, so let me just say this first. One of those preloaded things with like a hundred games, and then you can even put the games into it, is no more than sixty to a hundred dollars. Okay, and that's like infinite games. <laughs> so for this fucking thing, first of all, the size of it just pisses me off, and then the second fact are the colors besides the black one are horrible. Yeah, like where's I mean, pink and purple, you know. No, but dude, realistically, if you're a fucking adult, why are you walking around with a goddamn neon uh, yellow or blue? You know, like, you I just know. want the black one. You want it's the original stupid. fucking, yeah. Right, just okay. give me the black one. I would pay 40 to 50 bucks for this thing. Okay, so they're actually asking 50 bucks. And that's a fucking Texas rip-off. Dan! Speaking uh, of ripoffs, it. we got Texas Dan in oh, the house. Shit. Hey, buds. And he's behind a windowsill because he's on the East Coast. He doesn't even have that background. His his phone can't even handle that background. Oh, no. I gotta, I gotta put it back on because I had to use Zoom for something else. And when I logged in, it said that and it was weird. <laughs> I had a prolapsed anus in the back of the. And, and you don't yeah, even that, have the right background. Yeah, you gotta. I have the same one as you guys. No, we got that. We got the prolapse. We got the prolapse. I don't have anus in there. Dang. Uh, Colton, pick up the screen real quick and just like, catch up Chris real quick. Cause, uh, All right, so Sean is talking about the – have you heard that Game Gear in Japan, they're re-releasing Game Gear, but it's like this miniature bullshit? It's not like they're re-releasing it. It's just like a special ki- type of ki- – you know, special fucking thing they're doing. But dude, is that like a McDonald's toy? It looks like it, dude. They're so <laughs> small. That's the actual size of them. Uh, they come in four different colors, and each one of them – has four games built into it and they're all different. So if you don't like the games that are on the cool black one that you should have, you gotta buy the fucking stupid yellow one. Dude, that's the part that's that's so stupid because the black one has the original Sonic and stuff, and then the other ones, like what the fuck is Last Bible? Dude, what is that? I don't I don't know. Oh, dude. Where did you want Last Bible? <laughs> Like, so imagine, like, wait, wait, dude, imagine it being Christmas time and your kids are all excited and you got your kid the red one, but as all of his friends got the black one and he opens it up and he's like, last Bible. <laughs> he's like, cool, Sonic. And he's like, awesome, shining force. The last Bible? <laughs> what is this? You want to trade? No. <laughs> yeah. Dude. All right. So yeah, $50 a piece, those things are. All right. So um if you want all four of them bucks. yeah 50 bucks bro so if you want all four of them for a whopping 16 games then this is what you get for 200 dollars. so because i clicked on this and i started like just i you know i got a, not a not a big rabbit hole but a tiny one it affected my facebook you know I now you're getting now you're getting ads about it yeah yeah and i i went in man and i ordered yeah, let's get off of that thing real quick Wait, did you really order? I ordered something. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Dude. So check this shit out. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you about it real quick. And then I'm going to tell you how good of a sales. Dude, this shit is crazy. This isn't, how, this isn't everyday sales. First of all, let's think about this for a second. What I just bought is the size of a Nintendo Switch. And it almost looks like a PlayStation PSP or some shit. But it comes with 1,500 pre-installed games in it. Wait, is this the thing that Soldier Boy was pressing? I don't know what that is. He went on, he went on the Breakfast Club and he, w- he was like, yeah, man, I'm selling this thing. It's better than the Nintendo. And they're like, dude, I don't think you have the legal rights to do that. <laughs> dude, this, this so, dude, that's what I'm thinking. So this thing shows up in my, in my feed and I'm like, 
yo, this shit is awesome. And it says it has all eight get eight bit games, sixteen bit and thirty two bit games. So it plays like Neo Geo, all the Game Boy games, the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, yo, Nintendo NES, um, Super NES, Genesis, and um, I'm checking out this the games list on this thing. Yo, check out the fucking games list on this on this thing. Well, first show us what it looks like. I'm not going to yet because it's yo, retarded looking, isn't it? No, it's awesome. But you'll you'll see the pressure. You'll see how they. You'll see how I got got. But it, but I'm but but I was willing to get got. But here's the deal. This is how shady it is. So just like just like you said, they called out Soldier Boy for like, hey, how are you allowed to do to do that? <laughs> this shit is so gangster. It doesn't tell you any games that are pre-installed into this thing. Colton, listen, what are you, I don't know what you're doing. I'm listening. I'm looking oh. at you. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't tell you any of the games. So what you have to do is you write them game, uh, game list, and then you get an auto reply back in Facebook, and then you just respond that you did want the list, and then they send you the link to a Google Drive folder that has all these games in it, dude. Look at these. Look at, so this is... <laughs> And honestly, bro, I think am I sharing the right am I sharing the right screen? Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right. And the reason they're not listing these games is because they don't have the fucking license to <laughs> any of these games. <laughs> <laughs> but, but dude, look at this shit. So like this is they just kind of list it by the system. So arcade neo geo games. Look at that. All right, so look at all these, right? Like real real cool stuff. Um, Wait, so when they say arcade, they're giving you the arcade version of that game, right? Yeah. Like, okay. what was in the arcade and slash Neo Geo. And Neo Geo was a system that they put out that was like, like went hand in hand with the games. You could take your, 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 um, your, uh, like memory card and then take it out of your system at home and go play the, play the same game in the arcade and pick up where you left off in the arcade. Like they worked like that. It was insane. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was cool. It was super expensive. But a lot of these games are on there. Um, so, but look, look how fast I'm going to go through this list and just look at all these games. Wait, slow down a little bit. I'm going to, but I just want to show you the whole list real quick. Isn't that a lot of fucking games? Look at this. All right, so let's just go to something more exciting. Like, all right, so here's all the Game Boy Advance games. Um, you can take a look at those. Well, let's get go to, go to uh, is there, um, go to Nintendo. Yeah, I was going to scroll down a little bit more and, and go to... You know, I'm seeing just like a ton of like Grand Theft Auto and Zelda and... <laughs> I know, dude. Everything. Wait, they, they have Grand Theft Auto? Yeah, they have There's so Grand many Theft of them. Advance, it said... Yeah, look. Look at the Game Boy Advance uh, under G. Come right on, here. Harry Potter. Look at They have um, Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto Grand Advanced. Advanced, Grand Theft Advance 3. Or G2, no, it's GT Advance 3. That's something different. It's a racing game. Um, oh, Earthworm Jim. Dude, so check this out. Look, they have everything, all the Tomb Raiders, but that's on that system. So then you would go to, uh, let's check out the Nintendo. Where does Nintendo start? Oh, this must be Nintendo already. All right, so. How pissed would you be if it's some bullshit version from China where it's like, <laughs> it's a rip off of every game. Like they recreated it. And, it's and like Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Come meet me and my friends in Zeldar. As long as it played the same, it would be great. I went too far. All right, so all these numbers, like all the way in. Okay, so here we go. This is a Nintendo. This is where Nintendo, Nintendo games, I think, start. Uh, all right, Nintendo NES. So the list starts here. But, bro, if you name a game, it's on here. Because you can't name 1,500 games. If I started, if I asked you to name your 50, like, if I asked you to start naming games for these consoles and shit, you'd probably name 30. And they're okay, all wait, on I got, here. I got one. I got one. River what? City Ransom. See if River City Ransom is on the NES. River City Ransom? Mm hmm Let's go. It's in alphabetical order. Whoa, that was fast. River City Ransom. Here we go. Uh... Yep. I got it. <laughs> what about um, Mani uh, I think it's called Maniac Mansion. For the NES? Yeah. That game's fucking dope. That game's really cool if they have it. Maniac Mansion. Dude. I'm telling you, you name it. Have you played that game? No, I never heard of it. That game that game is like The Sims before The Sims came out. After oh. I'll sh I'll screen share, I'll show you what it looks like. 
that this has all the R RBI baseballs on it. It has um, the, the, the Tecmo, the Tecmo game, the Super Bowls and shit. Like, look at all the Tekken Mario. three. Wait, so Tekken three is under which system though? Because Tekken. Tekken yeah, if it, I mean, they'll have it for multiple systems if they have it for multiple systems. So check this out. So once we finish there, this, here's the Super NES. So if they made it for both, they probably got it on both. If you look at Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3 for the Super NES. Look at all these games, dude. It's so awesome. Super Punch-Out from the Super NES. Wait, so we need to see this thing because how is this yeah, thing set up? Right, show us so what it looks like. He sends me – so I get this game list, right? And, dude, plus they have Genesis in here. So I was telling my wife, I was like, yo, check this shit out. And then I was like – she goes, do you think they have Toe Jam and Earl? <laughs> and I was like, really? Out of 1,500 games, Toe Jam and Earl is the, is, the one, is the one you're interested in? But here, yeah, so here's Sega. And they have, these are all the Genesis games that they have. Dude, Genesis was the shit. Here's Road Rash, Road Rash 2. Bro, those games were I still have my fun. Sega in my you really? Yeah. Road Dude. Rash was the shit. If you could cut somebody with that chain, oh kick them off the bike, it was the best Dude. feeling in the world. I had... I had a Sega and a Sega CD, and then I fucking Chris. Remember, I sold it to like Brent or Shannon for like two porn DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> My brother gave me this horrible deal, dude. I had Sean. I had Sega and Sega CD with like two or three controllers, <laughs> and then I had all these games. I had like all the Sonics. I had Beavis and Butthead. I had pretty much every classic fucking game you can get for the Sega. And Sega CD. Wow. And then one summer, my brother's like, I'll trade you that for like two porn DVDs. And I was like, deal. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it all away. I gave it all away for just like, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was a horrible. <laughs> I hope you still have those. <laughs> one time. Yeah, I watch I watch them. One time I was, uh, <laughs> when I was in college down in, in Florida, um, me and my roommates, we were broke as broke as hell. And we wanted to smoke so bad. And we were like, yo, we had no money. We get we have nothing. But my friend Scott had his had his uh his uh I think it was it was it was his I think it was a PlayStation One with like a shitload of games, two controllers, a couple of memory cards that plugged in. And we went down to uh he's like, yo, I'll just sell this and then we can go get some weed. And I was like where are we going to go sell this? You know? And he was like, I don't know. I was like, Oh, I know. I was like, here, grab everything, grab the cables and everything. We're going to radio shack. So we drove to radio shack and like, the, it was right next to like a Publix. This is down in Florida. Dude. That's why this was normal. Like when you don't live, like <laughs> this is like, normal. Wait, you could sell shit to radio shack. In no, Florida? but I stood in front of it knowing that if someone said, Hey, how do I know this even works? I can go inside Radio Shack and show them. I can say, hey, can I plug this into your TV real quick? And <laughs> show them that it fucking works. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. I saw, uh, we saw like a nice family. We sold the whole thing for 50 bucks, everything. We went inside Radio Shack, we hooked it up. The kids were so happy. And then Wait, we, how, how did Radio Shack, how were they cool with that? They just, I don't know, it was just some kid working there. And we're like, hey man, can I just show her that this is working? I'm selling her this. And he's like, oh yeah, no problem. You know, it was one time, it can either be no problem or get the fuck out of here. And we got no problem, so. Um, she was super happy. Her kids were so happy, but we were even happier because now we got 50 bucks to go buy some weed, right? So we go and buy this weed and we're like, this is it. We're going to quit, right? We're going to smoke this whole thing, all of it right now. And just blunts, we're just going to roll up these nice blunts. We're just going to all pass. We're just going to pass them around. And this is it. We're just going to not smoke anymore. We're done. And then, uh, 15 that's... years later. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Three hours later, bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we did after we smoked all that shit, and then later on that night, we were out trying to figure out where we were gonna get more weed. We were like, "Nah, dude, we're not gonna quit." But now we don't even have the PlayStation anymore. It wasn't even fun. But uh, <laughs> I don't even know how. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how we started talking about that. But anyway, I don't, you just started talking about that. Yeah, I don't know how I, I, I got on that subject. But dude, anyway. <laughs> So speaking of speaking of uh, smoking weed, uh, anyway, so this console, so this thing shows up. I get this game list. I'm like, yo, this thing is dope. Um, I go on and I'm trying to see how much it is, and all of a sudden, like, this the pressure like just kicks in. As as soon as you go on the website, you see that they're saying that this thing costs three hundred and something dollars. But if you get it right now, like right now, 
You can get it for hey, 158. Show, show us this website, please. I'm going to, but as soon as I launch it, you're going to see how it works. That's why I haven't showed you this shit yet. So, um, so picture me. You know, it's it's nighttime. I'm high. <laughs> Carrie's sleeping. Vulnerable. My phone. I'm super vulnerable. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for the last two days since this shit showed up in my Instagram feed. And it knows it, dude. It's like, it, 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 it was in my Facebook feed. So anyway, this is what happens, bro. You, you, you go onto the website and I'm like, um, it, brings me, it brings me, I go right to the link to that, to that specific item. Cause they sell, they sell so many of these in different versions. Like they're like, since we do this illegal a anyway, we'll just make a, a little NES that holds all the NES games, and we'll make a little Game Boy that looks just like a Game Boy, but with all the Game Boy games, and we'll and we'll sell those for like fifty bucks, sixty bucks. So this thing, they're like, it's they're advertising as three hundred and something dollars, but if you get it right now, it's one hundred and fifty-eight. So you're like, ooh, that's a pretty good deal, right? And then all of a sudden, this <laughs> whoop, this thing pulls up on the screen, twenty percent off your first order, and you're like, oh shit! So now you're doing the math, you know? And then um, you're looking at your console, and on the bottom of this, and then and then it shows like a little a little guy, like a little chart, and it says only eighteen left, and you're like, oh my god, you know, there's only eighteen <laughs> left, and then on the bottom of the screen. It's showing Mallory just bought one from Indiana. And I'm like, oh my God, Mallory's buying who's I gotta get one. And then I'm thinking, like, I gotta get it with the 20% off. So I click on the 20% off and now, <laughs> now I gotta sign up for something. And I don't even know if I have enough time because all these people are buying them on the bottom of the screen. I'm freaking out. I'm 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 getting this 20% off thing. And then I'm saying to myself, bro, calm down, breathe, breathe. They're not gonna fucking sell out. Just Chill out for a second, all right? Let's just sleep on it, bro. And then I'm thinking, sleep on what? It's 120 bucks. Just order the fucking thing. And who cares even if it shows up? But I was freaking out, bro, because it's the middle of the night and I was vulnerable, like you said. And I'm having a <laughs> panic attack. I'm trying to calm myself down. So I say to myself, all right, all right, you signed up. You're going to get the 20% off. Just fucking sleep on it. You'll wake up tomorrow. You'll see there's more than just 17 left because now Mallory, there was 18, but Mallory bought one. So now we're, so you'll see that there's still more left and then you can order it in the morning. And then when I hit the button, it said that my 20% off is only good for the next hour. And I was like, oh my God. And I started freaking out all <laughs> over again. And I'm like, what time is it? And it was almost two in the morning. I'm like, oh my God, freaking out. So I just fucking ordered it. And then, um, I kind of forgot about it until I woke up the next morning and I saw my emails from them from thanks for your order. But dude, it's even worse because you, they only accept PayPal and, and that, that, that's also oh, like kind of a red flag, you know? And um, <laughs> all I'm picturing while you're saying this is that song from fucking Meatloaf. Oh, let me sleep on it. Oh, baby, baby, let me sleep on it. <laughs> Dude, I'm picturing people loading cinder blocks into fake GPS things and sh putting Sean's address on it. And they're like, we haven't sold one in years. This fucking asshole in San Diego wants to buy them all right they're now. Like, who, who could we say? Uh, make it up. Mallory. Mallory's <laughs> buying it, too. Oh, man. I know the whole shit is all just set up, but man, what a selling technique. I should do that with my wedding business. You know what I mean? Like, Sean just, somebody just booked him, like, the day before your wedding. And Dude, she's like, oh, my God, should. that's so close to my wedding. You totally should. I know. That's fucking gonna. brilliant. I have good that's ideas. How, that's but, why I'm in the fucking mattress game. I'm chatting with a fucking robot, dropping <laughs> 10 grand on a fucking sleep number. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> He's got three mattresses <laughs> in his bed. In his room. <laughs> so, all right. So here we go. So I ordered this shit um, through my PayPal, and I'm hoping I get some sort of confirmation. I get the first one. Um, the second one came when I woke up in the morning. I had one saying, you know, thanks for your order. And then it was telling me to make sure I... I go into my spam folder and make and mark them as not spammed if I want to follow my shipping information. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, oh no. And uh, um, <laughs> wait, where is this being shipped from? Supposedly California. So I'm hoping to get it pretty soon. Um, it said I should have it between the 7th and the 10th. 
Who knows? That's in two fucking days. That's when I'm getting my bed. Dude, so imagine. maybe maybe I can come over. We can lay in your bed and play <laughs> play handhelds. <laughs> I, mean, I, can, I can go. Do you want eighty or seventy? Do you want sixty or forty? <laughs> but that's the thing, dude. I was as soon as you order it, it says boom. Thanks for your order. Congratulations. Order another one right now for only $95. And I'm like, $95? I could probably flip this and get some of my money back. And I'm like, no, 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 dude. Just, just, just make sure. Just, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What was, the final, what, was, what was the final price you got? You didn't say that. $128 shipped and everything. Okay. If, if I get something. So here we go. Let's check this shit out. Let's see. Let's see. What's going to happen when I go onto this website? I'll show you what I got. And I want to show you the, the techniques that are going to happen here so you can appreciate what's going down. All right. You're, it's nighttime. Either you're drunk or you're stoned a little bit, depending on who you are. It could be both. And, and this is interesting to you. All right. I'm going to make it full screen so I can get the full effect. Hang on. And I'm going to look really close. So I, I want to like get the full effect. Like I'm fucked right. up looking at the screen. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. You see my screen here? Yep. All right, here we go. We'll go right to the site. Game it's probably insane. not even a site anymore. It's one of those things that is. <laughs> you know, 404 error. <laughs> so here it is. So once, so you get to the site, right? And then oh, something's going to pop up here in a second. I know it. But this is the thing right here that I got right here. You see this thing? Okay. I, I, first off, I just want to say a couple of things. These bullshit badges that they've assigned themselves the money back guarantee in this oh, I know, I know. oh here it is look 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 here it is so this is popping up right now <laughs> and that's kind of normal but dude when they pressure you in the hour hour long but here we go let's go to the retro game consoles i'll show you what i got here this is it um hold on is this one okay here you go so they're showing you that it was 329 but if you order now it's 159 <laughs> you save 170 dollars <coughs> but dude this is the thing Wait, wait, wait. Did you see that? Did you see the add to cart? How it's doing a wiggle? Yeah. <laughs> hey, bud. Fire, 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 fire. 40 cart. sold in the last hour. Look at this. James oh, C James. purchased a console. And you're like, oh, my God, that's the same one I purchased. You're freaking out. But, dude, why buy? I'm thinking, oh, yeah, why buy from them? Why not? Because here's why, you know? This is why you buy from them. You'll get a full 365 days. To use and return my item. I got easy returns. If I find it at a cheaper store, we'll beat the price hands down. They insist that we love it. Find, find it at a cheaper yeah. store. <laughs> it's a manufacturer's. <laughs> right? But dude, they're not. They're not. So this is why. So <laughs> the next day when I woke up and then I saw the email that I ordered this thing, I was like, oh shit. Part of me got excited. But then the other part was like, let me do some reviews about this. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. Shouldn't I have done that first? <laughs> Shouldn't have done that first. So when I went on YouTube to, re to review this thing, there's like two or three different models that look exactly like this. One of them is called an X16, and that's a different version than the one I have. So this is the, this is the better one. Um, and if you find the game intensity review and watch that review, they love this fucking thing, bro. Look at this. 8, 16, 20, 32, and 64 big games pre-installed. But in the review, the guy absolutely loves it. He talks about it. Dude, this thing has a camera on the back of it. It goes on the internet. It has a micro SD card, so I can put in even more, more footage. I can put video, I can add more video game ROMs if I want to in there, uh, if, there's no, if the game for some reason is missing and I find it on the internet. I can also put music and videos and books and all that shit on here. It does everything, dude. It runs like an, it runs, I think it's like, it runs, I think it's Android built or some Android system in there. Um, I like the, the 6993 of 7,000 sold and then right under it, 300 people viewing this. Dude, this is what I was saying. This quantity remaining, that's, I was like, oh my God, there's only 18 left. How much is left? Dude, but this is the same number. Seven Actually, there's left. seven left. So this is how I was freaking out that night, bro. I'm like, oh my God, look how many, they're almost out. And then I'm never going to be able to get this thing. <laughs> when have you ever been on a site and there's a fucking pill gauge showing? I know. A it's quantity. such horseshit. It's such horseshit. And if 300 people were viewing it, you would sell those a lot quicker than that. If they were like, you know. But dude, this bro, thing... the second you logged on, they'd be like, yo, we're sold out. But I'm not going to lie. That thing is fucking, that's pretty cool, man. Dude, it has an out, so you can, it has an out, so you can plug it into your TV and display it on the TV. 
It has um, volume buttons, headphone, uh, headphone jack. It has these shoulder buttons plus the analog sticks on the bottoms plus the regular buttons. It's got two, is that speakers on both sides? A little microphone. Dude, it's pretty fucking, it's pretty sick. And for 128 bucks, I, yeah. hope it sh I hope it shows up. You see all the pressure <laughs> they have here, dude? Look at all this stuff that just keeps coming up. Wait, dude, let's, uh, let's call the 1-800 number right now and talk to them. Call them up. Tell them that you got a brick instead of that. You're pissed. Dude, you're not going to get to talk to anybody. <laughs> you think you're going to get a person? I don't know. That'd be amazing. Hi, thank you for calling Supreme Online Deals. Please leave a message after the tone and we will get back to you as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, my name's Sean and I'm mad because I've been waiting for this goddamn thing and she didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Did you hear the fucking tone? It's not even like, that's not even... <laughs> You just called somebody's basement. What the fuck was that, dude? That's wait. So if hey, I, let's try it one more time. I'm laughing, but that's actually the, my customer support. Is that what you wait, just hold called? On, hold on. Oh no, I'm so screwed. Hi, thank you for calling Supreme Online Deals. Please leave a message after the tone, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Bro. Literally, that's not even <laughs> that's not even the name of the site. No, you got supreme online deals instead of high intensity gaming or that's whatever. That's even scarier. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna look up supreme online deals. Supreme online deals. What do you think? Am I getting this thing? Is it gonna show up at the I, house? Fuck, dude. I don't know. Okay, so the Supreme... Oh, so that's that fucking bullshit brand. No, that's Supreme that Online. Universe. Okay, here, look. Supreme Online Deals mini console. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um, See that? 400 games. Three, $3.86. All right. Well, this is promising. Okay, this is the same, same company. Oh, so this led us back. Oh, but okay. look. It says Supreme Consoles instead of Retro Gaming, but they use the exact same font, color, and everything. <laughs> supreme consoles and then the number is the same i bet watch yeah, probably uh so oh no it's different dude dude call that one i bet it goes to the one that i ordered from because <laughs> <laughs> thanks for calling game intensity or i like you. how you had this story and then we're just like solving a mystery on the episode now dude that's what i'm saying they make it so you can't please press one for english for English, please press 1. Thank you. Hello, and please listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. Calls are recorded for quality assurance. We're very excited to tell you about a special promotion for select callers. This will only take a moment. By answering just a few questions, we will find out if this offer is right for you. They haven't even identified themselves yet. New Dish Satellite TV customers save up to $540 in their first year. Plus, you could receive free installation, free HD for life, a free hopper upgrade, and much more. Connect for details. To take advantage of this offer, press 1 now to be transferred to a DISH Network agent. Press 1 now to speak with a DISH Network agent about the special pricing on TV services. To speak with a DISH Network agent about the special pricing, press 1 now. Otherwise, please press pound. Yo, You're gonna you, like a satellite. Thanks for calling in today. You have the opportunity to receive special pricing on TV, internet, and phone services from Dude, Direct TV. Yo, they're gonna install Direct a satellite TV dish. Like, this is where you get your games from. Bundle Direct TV and high-speed internet from it. If you're interested in saving money on car insurance and car insurance? new dish satellite TV customers save here. up to five hundred and forty dollars in their first, please have a pen ready to write down the new phone number to call back. And Yo, they're not going to say anything about video from our select partners. The number to call is eight hundred five five seven five seven seven nine. Again, that number is eight hundred five five seven five seven seven nine. Or press pound for more information. The number you have dialed has been changed from your calling area. Please have a pen ready to write down. Bro, I love how they're just firing off options. She goes, 
press one for direct TV or press one for direct TV. Like she just gave you the same option and you're like, oh shit, I should probably press one. Yeah, but aren't you calling that number because you want a Supreme console to enjoy the past and the future? What's going on with direct TV and-, and Dude, at least yours gave you the option to leave you a fucking message. This shit just is an endless loop of nonsense. But do you know what I'm thinking? They're like, yo, this idiot bought one of those consoles from us we might be able to sell them a direct tv satellite dish wow um, um well okay. you're not really redeeming yourself here sean that's not very good but hey um i unmarked my emails as spam so i should i should keep i should be uh, notified um and, and up to date and what's going on with this thing <laughs> I want to see the numbers on that. Like, how many people <laughs> actually did sign up for Dish by making a phone call to the, to the wrong company? Uh, how often could you call the wrong company and they say, no, but do you want Dish? And you're like, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm here for that. I think I, I could take that, too. Yeah, it's like, uh, hi, thank you for calling number one Chinese kitchen. Can I take your order? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit, I called the wrong place. <laughs> you sell them in Manhattan or whatever. All right, so... Uh, I'm here. I'm just. I don't know. What do you think? You think it's gonna show up? <clears throat> I think it will, but I think that um, I think I think it's gonna be some bullshit, dude. Personally, but I don't know. This is like too fucked up to go wrong at this point. Like I feel like the end of this story is, you know, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You're gonna end up with it. I'm gonna have it, and it's gonna, and I'm gonna show it to us. I'm gonna bring it on on the next episode if it comes. I don't know when it's gonna come, but if when it comes. I'm gonna tell you how dope it is, or how much of a piece of shit it is, and then try to get. My Where did you out. see that the company was based out of California? In the sh in the in the email that I received from them. Well, the go on the website. website. Go screen share the website and see if it says anything about California. Game intensity. Oh, actually, it says game. Yeah, game intensity and play the past, enjoy the future. Thanks for your con thanks thanks for your purchase. Your order is confirmed and handled. We're getting your order out as ready as uh, as early as uh, possible. As early as Wednesday, which is supposed to be at your fucking house. So, here's your this. order is being shipped from California, North Korea. <laughs> That's just like a, a town in North Korea that they ship things out of. It says <laughs> the shipping method is a free expedited shipping, tracked and insured. So, I don't know, bro. So you're good. So that's so I got I got hit with that one time uh, on an Instagram ad, and this was the first and last time I'll be duped by that. But uh, it was an ad for Ray Bans, super cheap, and I was like, Ray Bans? I I could use a pair of Ray Bans. And so you go on, and it does all that stuff. It's like, oh, only three hours left for this amazing deal, and like <laughs> half of them are sold out, and then they're like the brand new foldable models of Ray-Bans and they're like, we just want to get rid of these. Like, we'll take anything for them. And you're like, whoa. <laughs> so I ordered, and then they're like, if you order five pairs, we'll give you 20% off. So like, oh, two free pairs, blah, blah. Spent like $45 on like six pairs of Ray-Bans. They shipped them out. I go back to check the, check the tracking the next day. Site doesn't exist. Not even there. <laughs> no sight at all. So, so I Holy did end shit. up. I did end up getting five pairs of Ray Bans. Okay. They were not Ray Bans. Were they they were Bans? Like, they, I don't know. They. It was like. I, I mean, they had the logos on them, but they didn't even like fit your head. They were like oh, for children. God. And uh, the kicker was all the styles that I hand selected that I wanted. They didn't even send me those. They just sent me like an assortment of Ray-Bans that I didn't want. So I just got like all these sunglasses and then I, I, was, I didn't know what to do with them. So I just tried to give them away to people and nobody wanted them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. I, I'm like, does anybody want a retro gaming console? He'd be like, no, get away from me, asshole. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think you're gonna be able to get rid of that to like a fucking kid in sixth grade. Dude, it looks great though. and. The guy I watched their YouTube review from, he's like, so I ordered this off of a game intensity and this is exactly what they gave me. And uh, I, was, I was impressed. I was like, all right, this, 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 could be, this is good. This is a good sign. This is a good sign. I feel like you owe them a good review if it does come in. You should go on there and review them well. 
they want reviews. And this other email says, hi, Sean, thank you for ordering from us. Our products have already, uh, our products are already reviewed by thousands of customers and they have so many wonderful things to say. We hope you will be another one. Uh, we are doing our best to get you the only, the top notch retro gaming products that are cool and classic. Sounds cool. Who knows? But if it shows up, I think it will. I think it will. Cool. Where'd you go, bro? I'm coming back. I just had to go to my kitchen. But all right, do this. Share your screen and try to leave a review right now and see if it's legit. I don't know if they deserve a review yet. I think no, no, no. But just see if you can even out. fucking do it. Mm. If you can't even do it, then you know fucking. Well, I'm sure they all get vetted. Like, I wouldn't just let anybody review me on my own site. Yeah, no. I would make it, send it to me, and then I'll post it if I like it. Yeah, that's why a lot of people, but it, it, a lot of these companies just have, like, bots doing most of them, even for them. Like, they're not even real. Like, you can't trust any of that shit anyway. What's the name of our mic again? Fi Fine. Oh, fuck. It's not even an option anymore on Zoom. No, yeah, it is PMD, USB PN. You're connected to it right now. No, I'm on my AirPods. Whatever, though. I'll, uh, I'll... You see it says USB PNP audio device under your microphone? It doesn't say that right now. Is it plugged into the USB? Oh, I was looking at speaker. All right, hang on. Microphone. Oh, PNP. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It sounds horrible. Does it sound horrible? It sounds... <laughs> sounds like you're on the high. Still sounds like shit. Yeah, it sounds like you're driving in a car. Still? A little bit in the background. What about if I do that? Better. Let me hear now. No, Is that better? Like, no. It's awful. Is that, <laughs> Is that better? I think it's like picking up too much. I feel like I can hear the wind outside. Do you have your fan on or something? Am I seeing on? Maybe this thing wasn't connected the whole show. Hang on. How's it sound now? It's fine. Better? Who cares? No, how about now? Better? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Great. Chris, you got to get yourselves one of these. Um, I have like a, I bought like a whole studio mic kind of set up with like the whole rig and everything. But that's on my computer. I guess I could try it. I could look official. Well, Chris has been working on his rappy, rapping uh, Ronnie Reagan mixtape. Yeah. You want to spit, a, spit something real quick for us, Chris? Just Dude, you like I'd give that out for free. Ah. Shout out your fans only account. Let people know where they can hear you. Dude, I, I, I had to use my Zoom because I did an online class to get my boating license. So I need everybody to start a GoFundMe for me to get a boat, if you could. That's what I'm going to shout out. All right. Dude, that's what's so fucking, you know what's so crazy? Did you guys, did you, do you remember when like this pandemic, we were like in the middle of the pandemic? Did you, did you guys hear that Georgia allowed people to just get their driver's license without having to take their driver's test because they couldn't put the people in the car with the drivers, <laughs> so they just passed everybody by mail? Did you hear that? That is kind of crazy. Like, that what is do you fucking do crazy. crazy? But like, what do you do if that's not an option? You just can't get your license for like eight months. Yeah, we're in a fucking pandemic, you sixteen-year-old bitch. Wait till you get your goddamn license. Other than that, you're not driving around. And when I say bitch, I mean man or female. Not just, I'm not just assuming that it's a woman driver and she's not good. Because I know a lot of people who didn't pass their driver's test when they first took it. I did. Darn too. Darn too. And. Did you guys pass your driver's test the first time? Yeah, with flying colors, because I'm a female. Did you pass yours, Chris? <laughs> I did. I actually, um, I was taking the driving school test. You went to safety, right, Colton? Safety is driving school, yes. Yeah, this guy is like <laughs> mad foreign, but he's you super, super Italian. Too. Yeah, and uh, there was this other foreign guy that was there taking the test, and w the written test part of it, he, he came over to me and he goes, hey, help this guy out if you can and i said oh okay so while we took the test i was i took mine and then i read his test upside down and i would write the answer and then erase it and he would bubble it in and then write it and he and 
we just did that the whole test. I took the whole fucking test for this guy. He got like he did better than me, I think. He got like a ninety nine percent. And uh, so the the driving what was, Aldo Aldi what was his name Aldo 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 he like put me in this like. <laughs> like mafia conversation at the end of it, like put us, pulled us both aside and he goes, this guy helped you out. What are you going to do for him? And this guy's like, oh, uh, uh, and he starts panicking and he like pulls out his wallet and he just pulls out like as much as he can find in his wallet. And it was like $70. And he's like, is this, he basically said, it was like, is this good? This guy barely spoke English. He's like, is this good? And, and all those like, yeah, that's good. And this guy just hands me like 70 bucks. And I'm like, oh man, it's like, no big deal. I do this every day in high school. Like it's not, I do this for everybody. Cool. So <laughs> I do this for free all the time, but okay. And so I just took his money. And <laughs> I ended up making money off taking the driving test. Dude, but did you ever think about just going back every day and doing, doing that for different people? Maybe that guy's like the guy who pushes tests through, you know, and he's like, Hey, you come here. Come here. I never thought about that. Maybe he's always got like a ringer. Maybe he just saw that I was good at it. And like when he pulled <laughs> the class, he was just like, oh, that's my ringer. Like I'll get all my foreign friends through the thing. Cause these people don't speak English. So like a written test is way harder than the actual oh, driving yeah. test. All they got to do is drive down the street. And that's what, that's what, so I took this boating class and this guy started off. He was like, if you don't speak English, it's going to be hard for you. You might not want to take this class because everybody that fails this class calls me and I can't understand them. And he's like, they obviously don't speak English. He's like, dude, this class is in English. The test is in English. Everything is English. So if you don't want it, get out now. Man. I can't imagine. That's crazy. Imagine, been... like, imagine taking a whole driving test in Chinese and then having to take a test at the end and being like, dude, I don't know anything about Chinese. And you're just hitting like random, like <laughs> symbols. Where you're just like, oh, that symbol looks like a yield sign. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. <laughs> just Speaking praying of, that you get more than you get the majority of it right. There's no fucking way. Well, Dude. speaking of uh, this website, Sean, is about to sell out. They have 10,817 out of 10,820 sold. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're not trying to turn this into a QVC network, but there are three consoles left available. So, right, if so if you, you want, want them, go get them now. Actually, you know. Oh wait, what is this? That's that mini handheld. That's that, that's that mini. That's something different. Supreme. Oh, that's a... No, no, no. This is Supreme, baby. Supreme. Yeah, but that's for that particular product. That forty dollars oh, mini handheld. Okay. okay, so we want. Um... We want it's the same exact site, but different. Oops. Name. Whoops. No, because you don't click on Whoops. that. You click on. Wait. You click on retro game consoles in the in the begin in the in the in the in the toolbar. Okay, um, here, here we go. There he is. There's there it is. Okay, let's see how many left. There are uh, three left. Oh my god, dude. Uh oh. Uh oh. I better add. Let's see if I can, I'm gonna add seven. Let's see if I can do that. Considering there's three left. Oh well, we added them. We added them. <laughs> Dude, you better hurry up. You only have seven hours and 29 minutes to qualify for this outstanding offer, or else it goes back to $329 again. <laughs> ah, damn it. No, you'd be know, welcome. No, Clinton, welcome 20. That's the code. Welcome 20. See if it really expires in an hour. Bada bing. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> And they didn't, even, they didn't even send it to me, bro. No, I just told, I just remembered what it was. <laughs> Dude, you'll get seven of these at your house. See when the shipping is. Go down to the bottom of the page. See how, see how long, see if it tells you here or on the checkout page how long it's going to take. Oh, I think you got to let it know where you are. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't use shop pay. I've never heard of that. Me either. What the hell is that? But I do feel comfortable knowing Norton approves this and McAfee approves this. Yeah, so. me too. Me too, for sure. That's the reason I went ahead with it. That virus software that nobody uses. All yeah. right, so this is me checking out with ShopPay. Just get my name off of it. <laughs> you can use any other name. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so... 
my, my dog has 1,100 followers now on Instagram. She's up to 1,100. I know. She's bragging about it. Today, we, were, we take her for these nice walks during the daytime. Today, we were walking, walking around, and I started, I like to run with her. But sometimes she runs in front of me and, like, almost knocks me down. You know what, I'm, you know what I mean? So some, you got to be careful. So, but I like to run with her. She gets so excited, and then we'll stop, and then we'll turn around and we'll run back, whatever. So I started doing that. And then my wife pulled her phone out, and I was like, you want me to run by again? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> dude. I run, she's, I start running and dude, my dog just runs right into my legs and I go, da- I go down, <laughs> dude, I fucking fell down so hard. It was, she got the whole thing, but she didn't get anything except for me getting hit. Here, let me show you, let me show you this shit. I turns, I put it on my computer so you can see this. It happens, it happens pretty quick. All right, ready? Did you see that, Colton? Wait, it, no, it was like lagging like crazy. All right. Ready? Let's see if it plays properly this time. Okay, okay. Is it playing for you, Chris? No, it's uh, it's lagging too hard for me to catch. Oh, you know, it seems like it's hot action. Maybe, maybe because I, all right, here, try, let's try it now. Ready? No, you got to cancel out the screen share. I mean, cancel I can see you falling for sure. Yeah, it's, but it's like, it's like fucking a film from the fucking 40s. It's going like every... <laughs> All right, let's try it again here. Did you film it in the 40s? No. All right. Oh, how do I do that? Share with that, with the video content, like how you do it. Does it make it better? Oh, optimize. Yeah, cancel it out. And why don't you just share the the video? Don't share your whole screen. What do you mean? When you click screen share, it's you can select like separate things on your desktop to share. Oh, here it is. Your... Okay, cool. Want to see? It? All right, ready? There you go. All right. Here you go. Ready? <laughs> Did it play? I mean, I got the idea, but it's not playing smoothly at all. Fuck. Why? Who's your internet provider? Cox. Well, maybe we can switch you over to DirecTV. You ever think about DirecTV? (laughs) (laughs) You know, I was going to order a video game console, but now now that you brought that up. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Dude, I called Spectrum this past week because they every year they increase my bill by five bucks the woman goes i'm arguing with her for like 25 minutes and she goes you know it is just five bucks and i go (laughs) (laughs) what (laughs) yo out real quick i'll tell you a story when i get back all right right. (laughs) i don't trust that kid with his stories dude Dude, really go yeah she goes you know, it is just five bucks. Like she's like, like no, bitch. It's not just five fucking bucks. It's five bucks that your company's ripping me off from, and yeah. I'm getting the same fucking service. Then check this out. She tries pulling a fucking Supreme Games or whatever the fuck that company is. She goes, "Well, while I got you on the line, um, would you be interested in our cell phone service? We have great cell phone service." I go, "Listen, I'm not happy with your current service that's provided to me." Why the fuck would I upgrade to a different, op- like, more? And she's like, I'm just providing the options. I'm just providing the options. That's insane, so, I, dude. so then I asked to speak to a supervisor. <laughs> I got transferred to a lead, uh, uh, what the fuck was the title? It wasn't a supervisor. It was like a lead, um, co- a lead coordinator. Okay. What the fuck does that? And this is the best part. You know you're not talking to a supervisor when they go, hi, this is Craig. And you're like, well, what the fuck's your title? And yeah. then 20, 20 minutes into the conversation with Craig, I go, well, you're a supervisor, right? And he goes, well, 
well, I'm a lead coordinator. What the fuck does that mean? Well, I'm the, assi- I'm the assistant to the regional manager. Dude, seriously, might as well be, because I just waited 60 fucking minutes to talk to a supervisor. Then this is the best part. Well, let me get a supervisor for you, sir. You want to talk to a supervisor? Yeah, I want to talk to a supervisor. Okay. <laughs> silence like this. Doesn't even put me on hold. Just silence like this, and I can hear this fat motherfucker... <sighs> breathing into the fucking microphone after 20 minutes sir it doesn't look like i can get a supervisor they're all in meetings oh that's convenient because you just told me you were going to get me one so for five bucks more i settled for doubling my internet speed and i was okay with that wait hold on a second yeah so so you called to save five dollars a month and you ended up paying an extra five dollars a month for double your internet speed. No, no, no. I ended up getting that $5, what I was paying that they upped it to and getting double the internet speed. So they said, well, we're not giving you the $5 back. You're going to pay that, but we're giving you double the internet speed. Right. But it's stupid because for 49, I'm paying 55 bucks, right? Okay. For 49.99, new customers get the fucking deal that I was having. I said, so why don't I just cancel and become a new customer? And he goes, well, um, because you have a 30-day waiting period. I go, so I'll get AT&T for 30 days, cancel with them. You can buy out my contract because online it says new customers should buy out your contract. You end up spending more as a fucking company to buy out my contract, and then I'm a new customer. And he was like, um, oh, yeah, I guess you could do that. Dude. Stupid fucks, dude. Here's the thing. I'm not the most intelligent guy, but... The whole point of sales is to fucking sell someone something. And at least if you're a shitty salesman, be nice about it. You know? Dude, it's so crazy. I mean, it's just so crazy, especially like when the product has like such a demand. Like, like Cox knows that like, hey, you're only, you only have two options in your area. It's either us or it's that shit, the other shit company. Spectrum. Spectrum. Yeah, it's either that or Spectrum. So no one's going to go with that. You're going to stay with us. So even when you threaten to cancel Cox, they're like, okay, would you like us to cancel your service right now or in 24 hours? And you're like, oh, shit. Don't cancel my service. That was bluffing. That's when you you know you're fucked is when they just are like, okay, we'll cancel for you. And you're like, no, 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 no. Click. (laughs) They're so gangster about it. You know, they don't give a shit. They're ready to cut it right away. And then... um, and then she's telling me, but if you, and then the same thing as she was telling you, but if you spend this much, uh, you can get better service. I'm like, but I'm getting served. I'm right now, I'm getting the quality of service that like a, a 1999 policy, a, a plan would pay. I'm spending 79.99. You're trying to get me to spend a hundred and I'm not even feeling like I'm getting this by 79's worth. And then she just like, how, right, how, fa- cancel how, it? how fast is your internet right now? I'll do it. I'll do the speed test. But the reason I went with that specific plan is because as a wedding photographer, I'm uploading a lot of stuff. So really it was the upload speed. And the thing is, a lot of internet providers, they're just trying to sell you on download speeds. Check out the download speeds. You're like, sweet. But for me, I need upload speed. So was, there's like, oh, hey, 60 megabytes per second download speed, one megabyte per second upload speed. No way, dude. That's gonna, that takes a long time to upload shit. Well, because uh, Spectrum, I'm getting 55 bucks a month, 400 megabytes per second. Uh, download speed and 20 to 25 upload 20 to 25 upload how, how and have you ch- have you checked out our specials on direct tv sir <laughs> 1500 <laughs> games that thing comes with did you say 15, <laughs> 1500 i'm sorry i'm so high did you say 15,000 or 1500 <laughs> uh, <laughs> and while i got you here Herbie <laughs> vacuums are some of the best vacuums, and I really think you need the suction power of a Kirby. If you just press one, <laughs> get you a new one. And your insurance, your auto insurance, how is that right now? Do you have full coverage? <laughs> well, well, sir, do me a favor. Why don't you press one or press one? How about you do that? <laughs> if someone steals your car, are you going to get anything back from it? No? Okay. Um, but Sean, though, weren't you arrested recently? Oh my God, dude. I'm so glad that you brought that up. Um, but I wanted to just say I didn't for the record, but I might as well say that I did. And I'm going to show you this shit. This is fucking unbelievable. Um, Colton, I did want to say the most gangster company out of all of them is Time Warner, bro. Time Warner Cable. That's they Spectrum. Don't a, they don't give a fuck. I don't know. In- That's Spectrum. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they but don't give a fuck. I had, I had them when they were Time Warner in New York City. 
okay? And that is the most fucked up shit. They don't, yo, first of all, all their equipment is garbage, right? The boxes they give you are trash. Half of the time, nothing works, but they know, bro, they, like you look at the build, you look up at a building in Manhattan and you're like, that whole building is only Time Warner, that's it. They don't even have another option. It's just service with Time Warner and that's it. So they have this agreement with so many properties in the city, as well as other companies that they don't really even give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? But I don't live in that building. And I was a customer in a house in Queens. And I had, so I have a couple of other options other than Time Warner, but bro, their equipment is so bad that they had to open up retail stores for you to go and exchange it because you couldn't, you, they couldn't just bring you a new one anymore. It used to be, hey, this is something's wrong. They would send a technician out to your house. He would come with a new box and if it was broken, he'd return it. Bro, I'm telling you, I swear to God, when, I'm, when I say this, I'm not joking. They've opened up a Time Warner in, in the mall in Queens. Me and Carrie, had, we, we, had, we would have to bring our boxes there every three months or four months, get a new one. And I'll tell you what, bro, they're using the same broken boxes. I, I come in with my broken box. She gives it to somebody else 20 minutes later. I swear to God, they're doing this, bro. You, you, I walk in there and I'm, I, I'm like, she's like, can I, you gotta take a number. It's like the DMV. Everybody's returning their boxes. Everybody, They've, everybody's got boxes in their bag and they leave with new boxes. But dude, the lady, when it's your turn, you give her a number. She's like, can I help you with an attitude? She's pissed. I'm like, yeah, my fucking piece of shit box is broken. And then she's like, what's wrong with it? I'm like, everything, it shuts off on its own. It's, it, it gets choppy through the programs. It's not recording any of my shows. And then, and that's the most frustrating part is that you have all your shows on it. And when you get a new box, they just clear it off and then you get a, a, brand, new, a, a, a brand new box. But dude, this lady literally scoots her chair back throws throws the box on the floor behind me <laughs> tosses it clunk and then she pulls another one out of the same pile and assigned that one to me she gave me the new number assigned it to my account she goes here you go and i'm like what the fuck is this I'm like is this somebody else's box that they just that you, you, just, you what is going on here and then bro I, I know that's what it is but you got to get on the subway you got to get home and you're like i know this fucking thing isn't going to work and then you plug it in and it's all fucked up. And you're like, God damn it. And then you, and then you just start smashing them because you know you're just going to bring them back and then get a new one. But when you smash them is when they start working. <laughs> it's like an old, it's like an old uh, game system. Speaking of game systems, have you guys heard of this amazing um, system called Supreme Game System? They offer DirecTV for $59.95. <laughs> so, yo... Just to, just to say what Colton was, was talking about when he said that Sean got arrested. Um, the, some, some funny shit happened. Uh, oh, wrong one. I'm going to airdrop it to myself right now so I can share this. Share it to you. Hopefully it's not going to be choppy. Although the quality of the video is not that good. Chris, you had a story, right? Yeah, I mean. No, go ahead. I, I got to set this up. I didn't know you had a story. Go ahead. Uh, well, so I had to go because I was receiving a, an important phone call about a Bro boat. Girlfriend who is not well right now because we decided that we were going to play spike ball. You ever hear the game spike ball? Oh, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Play it on the beach, baby. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we've been playing at her, her parents' house. She's got a couple of sisters and their boyfriends come over and we all compete and play. And so we were playing tonight. And uh, we were like, one more game. And it, it got pretty intense. And Morgan goes back, pops the ball up, perfect for me. I miss. I go to grab her. She, she rolls on the ground, pops up, goes, I think I fucking broke my arm. <laughs> she pulls her arm up, and it's like, it's like wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's off. And I go, uh, yeah, I think you broke your arm. <laughs> so... So I get her up, and uh, then everybody's like, is she okay? And I'm like, no, she's not okay. And then they, like, call her mom, and I'm, like, trying to walk her in the house. And she's like, oh, man, this sucks. And she's, like, kind of bugging out. And you know when you get that, like, cold sweat, pale face, like, something is wrong. I just broke something. So she's like, uh, I'm, like, I'm seeing shit. Like, I'm like, oh, dude, just sit down right here. So she just, like. Wait, how fucked up was her arm? Like, it was, like. Um, I have a picture. I'll see if I can show you in a second. But um she's just oh. like she's she's dealing with it 
And uh, she's just sitting in the chair. And then all of a sudden, she's like, yo, I'm like seeing spots, yo, I'm weird. All of a sudden, she's just like, Oh my god. I'm like, what is going on? And then she just completely knocks out. Just and and puts her head down. Oh my god. Like that. And I'm like, oh shit. Like what? And her family's all around her. And we're all trying to calm her down. And uh then she just like kind of like this is like 15 seconds that seemed like 75 minutes. And <laughs> she wakes up and she's like She's like, where am I? Like, what happened? Holy shit. And, and, and then she's like, ow, my arm hurts. And then she had to, like, relive it all over again. Oh, my God. So <laughs> we're, all trying, we're all trying to decide what to do with her. And they're like, uh, her, like, brother-in-law is like, do we call 911? What do we do? And her dad's like, nah, you don't call 911. Just lay down for a second. And I'm like, dude, her arm's pretty fucked up. We got to take her to, like, somewhere. So we're trying to figure out, like, what hospital to go to. She lives in Windsor Locks. So Hartford is the closest one, which is like a good 25 minutes away. So I got it. We got to get her in the car, laying her down. As we're going there, she's like slowly in more and more pain. And I'm like, dude, I kind of think it's just dislocated. It was right on her wrist. I thought like it, she just popped her hand out, but she just called me. It's definitely broken. They had to pop it back into place. She's got a cast all the way up to her elbow. Oh, man. They're doing another x-ray. They're going to see if they have to pop it back into place again to make sure that they did it right the first time. Holy and shit. she's a mess. So, And then I get to the hospital, and I'm like, hey, where can I put my car, sir? And he's like, oh, nobody else can come in. Like, just you. Just she can come in. So I'm like, oh, dude, that sucks. Like, she's, like, in an extreme amount of pain, and she's kind of fucked right now. Um, and there's like military tents outside of the hospital. And then for some weird reason, I don't know if it's protests, but there's people flying around in like cars with Puerto Rican flags hanging off and they're lighting off fireworks. And I'm just like, what? It was like a war zone I came out of. And I just kind of like, I felt like I just ditched her in like a med camp and like a Pakistan <laughs> somewhere. It was just nuts. So yeah, uh, she's getting a second x-ray. So I might have to bow out to... Yeah, she's waiting on results. Wait, let me... so her shit is her wrist is broken and her elbow or just her wrist? Uh it's just her wrist, but I don't I think to keep everything in place, they just wrapped like her whole arm. How hard but did she fall? She just fell on her back. Like she went back to scoop it up like that and she fell back and then I guess she must have put her hand down the wrong way and yeah. it just kinda like popped her wrist. But let me see if I can find it. I'm surprised you stayed quiet this whole time about that. I know, bro. Well, I didn't want to, like, pop You guys were clearly having an intense conversation about retro games. <laughs> Which, by the way, now that I think about it, remind me to call DirecTV after this because I heard they have a good deal going. But hold on. Let me, let me pop this off and see if... Can you guys see like how oh, off your shit, hand dude. is? It's all fucking oh, on the Jesus. sides. That's oh. well, let me, that's her like uh, the bottom is her leg. So like, and that's her left hand. So it looks like it should be her right hand, but it's it's her left. Oh hand. man, dude, it's not, that's yeah, it's crazy. Not oh, well. It's like like that, dude. It's it's pretty oh, out of where it should be. <laughs> So, Sorry, are you, are, did you guys make the tournament for spike ball? <laughs> it's, uh, spike ball's on hold for a little while. I don't know if we'll be doing that so soon. Right. <laughs> but I hope she gets back into it because it's a great sport. It's fun for the whole family and it's completely safe. Well, that's why you play on fucking sand and not a goddamn backyard. It's Listen, Cole, we don't live on the beach here and our beaches have more rocks than the the dirt does so <laughs> dude connecticut peaches are dog shit we take what we can get that's crazy. but yeah that, that's why i had to take her facetime i feel real bad she's she's not she's hanging in there she's a trooper but do they have her I, like morphine or any pain any pain yeah they got her an iv they i think they gave her like a perk and she's on an iv and they're gonna give her some pain meds and that looks painful bro her wrist is all the way to the side it's everything yeah jacked over I don't know how she did that, but she found a oh, way. Fuck. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of what happened today. Wow. Um, 
But Sean, so Sean arrested. got arrested. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, hold on. Let me get this thing. Right quick. So the funny thing, funny. Uh, all right. So the funny thing happened the other day. I was on Instagram and I got a message from this guy, Peter Murphy. Um, and I'm not, I don't know who Peter Murphy is. So I was like, what's going on here? And I'll pull this up so I can share this thing. We'll, we'll go through it together. Bam. Hopefully it works. Can you see the screen? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, all right, Peter Murphy. So, um, all right. So he messaged me right here. Okay. He says, I know you've seen your mechanic on cops, but I think I might have just seen you on it too, bro. And I, I have a, I have a bit about seeing my, I used to, when I was in college in Florida, I had a mechanic and um, I, one day I was watching cops and they, they fucking pulled him over. And I was like, holy shit, that's my mechanic. And <laughs> he, he gets out of the truck. It's like two in the morning and um, he's, they, they walk up to the car and that's, that's when I first recognized them. And I was like, holy shit, that's my mechanic. And he was wasted. He was slurring his speech. Wait, that's a real bet. That's legit. That's, that part's real. Yeah. So, Oh, I didn't know that story. Okay. <laughs> that part's real. Yeah. So he gets out of the, he gets out of his, of his truck. And he's naked. It just so he's just completely naked. They're bleeping it out his little dick. That's it. That's, and he's standing there. And he's he's trying to stand up straight. And they uh, <laughs> they were asking where he was going, and he was like home. And he was like, "Where are you coming from?" And he was like, "Home." <laughs> but, they, <laughs> but they arrested him anyway. Like I I kept going to him. Um, and the rest of that is when was is made up, Colton. The rest of that joke is is made okay. up. Okay. But I say I tell that part of the story uh, in my in my bit. So this guy knows the bit, and he says, "I've seen, I know I know you've seen your mechanic and cops before, but I think I might have seen you on it too, bro." And he includes this little this video of this guy who looks just fucking like me. Yo, look at this video. <laughs> this is what I ended up sending to. Yo, doesn't that dude look just like me? <laughs> Yo, even his face, like, even, even like, as, if, oh, and, and just in case you couldn't tell what was happening here, the cops are arresting this guy, and then this guy just started shitting his pants everywhere. Did you see, look, I mean, he doesn't have pants. I think it looks like the they gave him a jacket or something to cover up in, and then he just started diarrhea shitting all over. Look at the cops starting to get, like, oh, my God, they just left me. He's like, whoops, I'm out of here. I'm surprised he didn't try to run after that. That looks like me, even with my hat down, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Do you do that? Like, is that something you would do? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've seen him do that on stage. <laughs> that's that's I'm what he did. I'm glad you can verify that, because most of the time you see those cops things, and you're like, they must have actors, like, do crazy things in between when they do, like, just, because sometimes they're just, like, boring traffic stops, and then sometimes some outrageous shit happens, and you're right. like, they're just trying to, like, film something cool, but if, if it's your mechanic, like, he's not an actor, I don't, unless he is, but I don't, we don't think so. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, man, shout out to Peter Murphy. Thanks, Peter. Peter Murphy. That's you always sponsor. wonder, you know, you're like, I wonder if there's somebody out there that looks like me. And then you find him shitting his fucking shitting out of a jacket next to two police officers after he's getting arrested. You're like, yeah, you're that's like, oh, exactly yeah, what I would. Exist. <laughs> yeah, but you know what's cool is you're the you're the better version of that. Like that you is can true. Some, <laughs> I could have been that guy. It's realistic to think, and I'm not. I'm the better version. Have you guys, uh, Chris? Have you heard of um, Chat Pig? Jesus, what is this? All right, this is our new thing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, this is really like sex cams. It's a lot different. Yeah, um, let me uh let me yeah, I got to it up properly uh, there, dude. So we figured out that we can screen share, but we got to do a portion of the screen. The problem with Chat Pig is that we can't interact with these people uh and we can't get them on the show. The only way you can talk to them is if you give them money. <laughs> so I mean, there's people in the room who want to see these people take their clothes off. And that's what chat pick is. Um, oh, fuck. The party room and the fantasy room is full. Go to the... Um, just go to this, like the, this third most full room. 
Um, that is champagne, the champagne room. All right, get up in there. What okay. is somebody? Wait, hold on, this Colton. You can't get in there yet, dude. You have okay. to. Dude, that first for the record, that could have been anything right there. You have to, you got to be already not sharing that shit, and okay. then make sure it's safe before you get in the room. So this is uh, oh, this is BBW. But that's this is that's not going to do anything for us. No, it's not. Okay, so this is the champagne room. Uh, that's Audrey. Can you see the screen? Can you see the people? Yeah, I'm trying to get to just Mandy. Oh, I'm doing I'm doing like a four by. Ah, uh, fuck. Hang on. You gotta make sure that you're doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what the size is. No, I'm doing some weird shit, dude. Where it's like, oh, I got a grandma. Oh, be careful. Oh. <laughs> that's close. <laughs> What's the you, so they they lure you in with this random chat of a random thing and then and it's like if you want more sign up and pay ninety nine cents or something. Yeah, you, grandma's I, drinking from a Wawa cup. What's that store? Wawa, but, right? Colton, but can't you share the can't you share it so her boobs aren't going to get in it because this, you're not sharing that part of the screen so we can yeah, see, let me, see grandma's let me, face. Uh, you're not. I don't see that part yet. I know, dude. I'm doing. I'm fucked up. I fucked up. I did. Uh, I did like picture in picture <laughs> dude get the fuck out of it stop sharing it for a second and then do it properly share a portion of your screen you're trying to make that work i'm gonna see grandma's titties and you're gonna have to edit that and your final cut's all fucked up <laughs> oh fuck sean now the champagne room's full so i can't go back in yo you'll be able to get back in Someone's oh gonna it's drop full out. were you just in there i'm still in the champagne room i'm not sharing it with you guys i got picture in picture get with some girl with a big nose and grandma okay so sh get, this time when you go to share the screen, make sure you're sharing only a portion and then make sure there's no nudity on it at first so you can correct. Okay, what was that reaction? <laughs> was I just that? got the chills. I got the oh, chills. I thought his grandma just did something on the screen. That... All right. Uh... What was that reaction? Actually, grandma's got a, she, her ass isn't bad. Colton. <laughs> You're not doing it right. You got to do the share the portion of the screen. What are you sharing? What are your what are your share options? I I have the portion of the screen. Here, hold on. There we go. So this is the girl. So don't show that bottom part. You can't show any of the And this is grandma. Okay. So Colton, do you remember how you can readjust the vert Yeah, I know. I have it adjusted. I got it adjusted. Okay. Okay. I trust that. Hold on. I trust you. Grandma keeps changing her ankle. Yeah, but you got to be on that. You got to find somebody. I am. I am. It. I just switched it. I yeah, switched she's too crazy. Hey, grandma's moving yeah. around too much. <laughs> she's moving way too much. Do you see this so, picture in picture bullshit, though? That is crazy that you can have all that going on at once. I wish I could show you guys what she's saying. Oh, here we go. Hang on. It is. Don't say that before I go do it. Oh, you got to hear her voice. Hang on. <laughs> She okay, sounds like on. your voice when you do impressions. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Uh, you can chat with these people, they just can't yeah, hear you. you know what's more they brutal you than my Do you hear? Yeah, I hear. Oh my oh, god. Oh, love handles. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> They're not on the front. They're just on the back. She said her, she's got love handles, but they're just in the back. Thanks, Blunts. Blunts, I have just a question let, for you. Yo, share the portion of the screen where it's the young girl who's not naked, and then let us just hear grandma's the voice. The young girl is oh, off, and animal grandma's animal? just fucking off the rocker, dude. <laughs> you know what, Fling Man? You did? Let's do. Can you type in there, Colton, and see if she wants to come yeah, on the yeah. show? Porsche milk. <laughs> I gotta sign up. Uh, Nickname. You gave no, 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 no. no, Colton. <laughs> I oh, it. Mikey must have been there because he knew too. The neighbor. Like listening to like a sexual audio. I'm going to put my spam email address. Hit, we're getting into the comedy hour now. Oh, we're getting into the comedy oh, hour, she says. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on. 
I'm a good neighbor. <laughs> cool cat five. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Fuck, hang on. I think she's talking to you. Is she talking? Is she, did she say cool Are cat? you talking to me, baby? <laughs> Do it, fling man. I know how it feels not to have one. <laughs> Uh, Jesus. So got an activation code. Jeez, <laughs> All right, for those of you watching, just keep hanging on because we're getting closer and closer to uh, Grandma. Here we go. You can did, make me snort. Money, I need to hang in there. Cry like I did the other day. <laughs> did I? Uh, did we show a um, a tit, Sean? Yeah, we showed a tit. You showed a tit twice. But that was for medical reasons, you right? You can talk dirty to me now, fling so, man. We can just ignore right? all the things. It could have been just a piece of pepperoni. And talk sure. now. So you're <laughs> I think she dropped pepperoni on her bare chest. She could have. Okay, so now we're, now we're logged in. Now we are on chat pick and we're logged in. And I'm glad I moved it. Uh, where's the champagne room? God damn it, it's full. I thought Dude, it was... The champagne room is with grandma, bro. That's not a good champagne room. Dude, here's a problem. I just registered and it's it's doing this bullshit. Yeah, and you're also gonna get a gaming console from the same company. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm starting to lose my faith in that uh, chat pig. Oh, I'm logged in. Here we go. Look. Log right. out, log in. Okay. So we're gonna go to rate girls. Okay. Well, there's nudity on that one. Um, look at the topics. You don't think there's gonna be nudity in every one of these? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, what the fuck, dude? Did, did you log in. in? Are you logged in, bro? Yes. And Isn't then it just takes it takes me to this fucking bullshit. So you're a guest right now. You're already a member, bro. You're already logged in. Click on member right there. Where? Right there in the fucking screen where it says log in. Yes, I'm a man. Under I'm a man. Oh, no, no, no. This yes. is to register. This click is to that. register. No, click I'm a man. Click member. No, that's what I keep doing. No, no, that's no. What I keep... Right now it says guest. Yeah, click on that. Oh, oh. There cool. you go. What was it? Cool. A cool cat five. I don't fucking remember. We got to rem Oh, cool cat. <laughs> 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 Okay. Those terms and agreements. We're gonna keep your video camera on all the time. Okay, be ready. Be very careful here, please. Okay. This is gonna be. This is gonna get crazy. All right, try the champagne room. Oh, it's open. Fuck yeah. It's open to the members, dogs. Okay. Oh, Graham, Graham, Graham. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Can you say hi? Oh, you're my big guy. Oh, you're my big guy. Put it in my mouth. Put it in my mouth, big guy. Put it in my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, your girl's in the hospital, and in the background, you hear, put it in my mouth. She's like, so my x rays just came back. Put it in my mouth. Put it in my mouth, big boy. Fucking <laughs> hot. Yes, put it in my mouth. Put it in your mouth, Colton. I'm trying. I'll lick all the way up underneath it. I'll lick all I'm going to turn my camera so she can see it. me. Then suck the very end. She can see you now? Hey! Hi, Ryan. Hi. Where have you been? In social studies practice. <laughs> Long time no see. She can't hear you, dude. Let me see how that ass looks and I'll tell you if you can see it. Yeah, but you were on all day and I was. Okay. Ring and ball. Can you show her face a little bit? Can you just zoom it down? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Be careful with the move. Ring and ball. Okay, I know what the ring is, but I don't know what the ball is. Can you see it? 
Chris <laughs> my big fat. Oh, she's bald. Like. What? She, I think she said she's bald. She showed you her um, oh. Let me go this way. Showing it in the mirror. Nope, that's not it. Chris, you couldn't nope, seem any less interested in grandma. Dude, I'm on myself trying to just How figure out what the there. is. There it is. With that big, messy hair on top. Look at that butt, Graham Graham. <laughs> I'm gonna say, how do I send you money? How do I send you money? Why are you tired of being dizzy? Okay. Now she's yep, yep. That's a good thing because. What happened? Oh. Okay. All right. What just happened? Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> why is it why is it taking so hard come here come here and let me help you seriously dude. man okay hang on Who? so break the feed we got hacked and we're back fling me i just bend over this All bed right. right here Bend over. She's moving around too much. All right, move it up so you can't see her boob if she stands up or something. Dude, I don't know. I don't think these people can even. I don't yeah, even type, think they're type to her. talking to me. But you can type, right? And she'll respond. So ask what her are you? Who are you on right now? Ask I'm her on, she wants to be on the show. I am on. I can't see because this menu won't get out of the way. Oh, XX Hathor. And All champagne right. room. I'm gonna. I need to watch it for mine own eyes. See if you can see my chat, Chris. Um. She's smiling. I said, "You are beautiful." Ugh. With a Snapchat filter. Did I say <laughs> that? No. Uh, oh yeah, Cool Cat Five. You are beautiful. I love you. I have money. My name is Sean. <laughs> All right, I got to piss real quick. Uh, take the screen sharing ability away from me. Colton. <laughs> Dude, you can't just leave this up here like that. What are you doing, bro? What? I'm still, what is, this is just like, I feel like I'm at like a black market strip club. In, in, the, in, in Chat Pig? Yeah, what, like. That's what it's it is. Just the weirdest thing. <laughs> I know, dude. I can't believe Colton just left this out. What if this girl started to just take all of her clothes off right now and do crazy things? Colton's the only one that can get Somebody just anything asked about Colton it. how much money he has. She's asking him that? Okay. Colton. Okay. Dude, Dude, she's rated Colton. Cool Cat 5 5. She rated you a 5. Whoa. First of all, Colton, did... you can't do that again. You can't. If she started jerking off all over the screen, you're the only one who has control of that. I thought you had privileges. No, I can't. You're, you're sharing your screen. Where is she? Wait, Chris, is she um lady? No, she's Hathor XX. See, Hathor XX says LOL. And then Umly said, do you take personal checks? And then she rated Blunts for Days 5. Dude, Dude how, do, how do, fuck this bitch. How do we, I'm going to, oh my God, couple. Okay. That's horrible. I wish I didn't see that. <laughs> uh, that too. Okay, Summer Vine, not bad. But what? <laughs> what are we doing? This, this is like the show. Just can't be live streaming half naked women. Like we have to try to get them on our show. I know. I know. I'm gonna to try. Them. Will you come on my show? I have money. I <laughs> have tokens. For Dave and Busters. Wait a minute. 
How is Hathor still commenting? Chris, there's something going on here. I'm in the wrong chat. Uh-oh. I, I did something weird, too, and now. <laughs> it's fake. 5G. It says 5G. Chat, in oh. check, you have to write, like, 5,000, and then... I don't see anything. Anyway. It's fake. What the hell is she talking about? I don't know, but I'm taking it personally. Okay. So. <laughs> listen. What? I said, listen, you fucking asshole. Okay. okay. You, you need you need to write there the real name. That is my real name. Cool cat forty. Cool cat five. My name is Cool Cat Five. <clears throat> See, look, check this out. So I turn on my webcam. Sounds like you're there. Hi. <laughs> what do people do with the time now? Like, really? You should do that to you, Colton? I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Do you know my friend Sean? He bought a Direct TV with TiVo installed. 1500 games installed in it. <laughs> All right, I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting burnt out with Chat Pig because this isn't going anywhere. No, it's not. Who would pay for this? Like, first of all, I can't. Go to Foot Fetish. Go to Foot Fetish. That might be clean. Go there okay. for a yeah. second. Do they gotta tell you that it's half off a membership in the next five minutes only? And then say there's only a certain amount of memberships that they can sell. <laughs> Foot Fetish doesn't have anyone. There's I'm only three over... memberships left. Act now. 20% off. Check this out. I'm in minutes. over 40. I'm in over 40. Look at this fucking Jesus view. Christ. Look at that guy. She's even blocking herself out with her hand. Yeah, she caught, she caught a, a reflection in her own phone. It was like, Jesus Christ, who is that? Oh, wait, oh shit, that's me. Oh, here we go. Over 40. Hello. <laughs> Got the librarian <laughs> from, uh, okay. This one has no problem showing everything. Can't show that. This is a man. I think we had him on the show before. <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh, man. Some people just, they don't give a shit. Ugh. Jesus Christ, Patrick. <laughs> Chris, what are you looking at? I'm just going through all these. I'm so intrigued with how stupid this is. And then you just get like, and like I get it, just like chat roulette, you get dicks, but you just get dudes like. What? This has got like a lot of shit going on. He's got like a chain around his dick. Oh, jeez, Louise. All right. Um... I don't think we can get anyone from uh, Chat Pig, and I'm, no, now my either. now my email is destroyed because they're gonna be. I'm gonna have to check my spam mail every day for the updates. Oh wait, so it shows you how many people are watching. Is this your new favorite app? <laughs> I I hate this honestly. I've been trying to figure it out. We really do have to find a new website though. Actually, let's check out Chat Roulette once. Um, I will grant access. All right, I'm over this. Uh, oh my God. Okay, well. Shara has just turned into sheer disgusting. Yeah. 
Wow, we hit uh, 840 or 1140 if you're on the East Coast. Yeah. Or if you have a broken arm, you're getting knocked out. Well, sucks. Yeah, that is uh, unfortunate events today. That is. Sure is. I, uh, I, I went to one of the drive-up comedy shows. Oh, yeah. How was it? <laughs> it was cool, man. I actually... Um, I, uh, you know, I'm just kind of slowly just trying to come out into the world a little bit, you know, out of this pandemic and shit. Everybody's at their own level. And um, I signed up for ACC on Tuesday. I mean, Wednesday I got up and, um, you know, it was fun to be on stage again, to be honest with you. I mean, Colton, you got up too. You were there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it was, man. It was great, man. It was fun. It was fun to be on stage again. Um, with that being said, um, the drive-up comedy, they do that, you know, on Friday in San Diego and then Saturday in LA. And um, I'm not, sh I'm not, I mean, I know that they're planning on doing, like, they want to do shows, uh, which would be dope. I mean, imagine if you went to, like, an old drive through Imagine you're a drive through theater, right? And you're like, dude, no one goes to fucking drive throughs anymore. This is bullshit. But I got the space and, I've, and I'm all set up. And then all of a sudden, some guys roll up and they're like, yo, can we do a comedy show here? And this is how it would work. And they were like, fuck yeah. I mean, if, if they could do something like that, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? That would kind be of, cool. If like you pulled up in your car with your friends and you're just smoking and drinking and just and unless you're driving, you know, then you have to be responsible. Um, and, uh, but you're just in your own car with your own people and you can see the comic who's on stage being maybe projected onto the screen or something like that, like at a movie theater, you know what I'm saying? And um, that'd just be so dope. I think that they're trying to work on something like that, which would be awesome. Um, I know that, uh, you know, Grand Comedy Club is open back up. ACC now is open back up. Um, they have people come, they have, um, shows this, um, like big comics coming down, uh, starting to get booked on, on the shows for the weekends again. So it's exciting. Um, I don't know when the store is going to open back up. I'm wait. I, I, I'm, I'm still waiting. You know, we're still waiting on the Comedy Palace and, 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 and a bunch of places. So until yep. then, I mean, this is a great thing to do and i think even after then it's still a cool thing to do if they're still gonna if they're still gonna be able to do it and i'm hoping that they are and i think that they are as well but with that being said um it was cool i, only, I was only able to go for like an hour you know they were jim and, and and alexander were both like yo we'll pop you in uh but i just came to try to take pictures real quick give them give them something um and i know that uh alexander it just seems like sometimes at acc when he would He'd come and then that would be the week I wasn't doing pictures and, and it just felt it felt like it fell like that on that for like two months there at, uh, towards the end before this pandemic and everything. So anyway, um, it was cool. But dude, the next day up in L.A., it, um, they had, which was yesterday, June 6th, they had like a whole lot of um, protests planned. So right now for like law enforcement in every city, Pretty much all the other police officers are saying that they, you know, they're, they're, not, they're being told that they can't take any days off. They're pretty much full staffed right now, uh, and they need they need people everywhere. So, um, <laughs> at the last comedy show, which was yesterday up in L.A., dude, they're doing they're doing stand up in the parking lot, and all of a sudden, a fucking police helicopter rolls up, and they're shining their lights down on them, and they're and they're circling them, and uh, they put it on their stories. But for some reason, when I try to share the story. It won't play the. It won't play any of the audio, which sucks because it's 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 funny with the audio. Uh, and then you see some guy pull his pants down and moon moon the police. But the police were there circling, trying to figure out what was going on. And then I guess they called some more units, and then some some people showed up on the ground, and were trying to figure out what was going on. And they told them that they were doing a drive up comedy show, and they're like, oh, all right. <laughs> and they just left. They didn't even give a shit. <laughs> they just didn't. They, as long as it wasn't like yeah, because they're they're all concerned about everything else going on. Yeah, I mean, there's so much there's a lot of problems there's a lot of dickhead people out there causing some trouble and uh obviously those are their main priority right now um uh, so but again another interesting moment for the dry up comedy show i think jason techman might have filled in the national guard maybe that's what it was <laughs> you know what i mean he, he called the national guard let them know what was going on and they flew out there and tracked them all down <laughs> with helicopters and tanks um, we should probably wrap this up. We're going, uh, yeah, let's wrap it up. We're going on two hours. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure entertaining you. 
and uh, Chat Pig is our new sponsor. So shout out to Chat Pig and the Champagne Room. Shout out to Bart Sampson. Shout out to Bart Sampson. And if you know anybody else that can let us use their account, we might be needing a new one pretty soon. Let us know. Just throw it in the DMs. Because <laughs> uh, Grandma in the Champagne Room fell off the rocker. Man. She's like, I'm in the Champagne Room. I always wanted to be here. Now it's my time. She didn't give a fuck about anything. Especially Bart. Yeah, she didn't yeah, give a fuck about Bart. about Bart. So this 10th is a big day, the the 10th of June, because that's when I'll possibly be getting my mattress. Sean might be getting his game system. And then the 19th is when my account's in, uh, not banned anymore. Yeah. So we're going to have some Exciting. big news for you guys coming up <laughs> on those days. Yeah, super excited. All right, so, uh, you know, guys, thanks very much, everybody, for joining us. This is episode 30 of The Worst Show Ever. Chris, uh, please, <laughs> I hope your girlfriend gets better, man. That fucking... I gotta go to the hospital man. now. <laughs> that <laughs> sucks, man. Chris is on that his way sucks. to the hospital. It is... What time is it? At 11.45 p.m., and he's on his way to the hospital right now. And she's uh, gonna be all fucked up on pain meds and shit. Are you just going but to now? Um, well, she went for the second x-ray and they're going to get back to her and see if it's in good enough shape for her to leave. Okay. So. Otherwise they got to reset it. Yeah. God, that happened. You know, dude, one time my mom, when she was young, she broke her wrist or her arm it was one or the other. And it was in a cast healing for a few weeks when they did another x-ray and they, re- and they saw that it was healing wrong. So they had to re-break it after it was been oh. healing for a few weeks. Did that go in there and re-break it and reset it? Oh, God! <laughs> I don't like that talking about that shit. Uh, I hope she feels better, man. It sucks. Yeah, I'll keep you updated. Right there. Yeah, keep Sean updated. I'm right. just new material. New material. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dickhead thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, new material only. Let's play. Count us down, Colton. New material. <laughs> okay. Um. So I got this guy, right? Wait, and... I kind of... Wait what? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, all right. Also, to announcement before we go, if anyone knows a website, light chat roulette that we can use, please let us know. Yeah, please. Um, we're dying here. We need it. We're dying for content. <laughs> we're, we, we need other people to supply it for us. <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks, guys. Colton, count us down. Five, four, three, two, one. So, oh, yeah. so the other day, my niece and nephew over there. I call my uh, dad. And, almost said Holocaust, but and he I was like, pandemic, holy shit. Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Um, so anyway, we, you know, who the fuck ordered Chuck E. Cheese pizza? But we ended up, um, we, we ended up just, what? Are you what? Are you to the Holocaust. And, 